So I have been Instagramming a few pictures of my DIY stackable bracelets and a few of you guys have asked me to do a tutorial on it. So in this video, I'm going to show you the basic of a square knot bracelet. So yeah, I kind of feel like it's easier to knock this one out of the way first. So in this video, I'm going to use a thicker piece of string so you guys can see what I'm doing. This first piece is cut about 4 inches longer than my clipboard. I clip my string at the top with 4 inches sticking out. I'm using a clipboard because it's a very sturdy and stable way to work on a knot without it flailing and wobbling all over the place. So the first piece is going to be the base strand and it stays straight the whole time. But I keep it steady by clipping it at the bottom of the board. Don't pull on it too tight otherwise it will be too hard to weave in and out of it. Just kind of give it a little bit of looseness. Next, cut out two pieces of string that are the same length. The length really depends on how thick the string is and how big your wrist is. So I'm going to place a string on each side of the base string. I hate getting tangled up when I'm doing this, so I like to fold the extras up and then clipping it. This way it prevents it from becoming a hot mess later on. So first, I'm going to start on the right side. It really doesn't matter how you start just as long as you alternate later on. I place the right string under the base string and then over the left string just like so. Now with the left string, it goes over the base and then through the loop. I pull on both sides equally so it tightens up. Now since I have started on the right side earlier, I have to start on the left side this time around. So I take the left string, I place it under the base and then over the right. Now I take the right piece going over the base and into the left loop. So again, since I started on the left side, I'm going to start on the right side now. The right is going to go under the base and then over the left. Now the left goes over the base and into the loop. And then you just seriously repeat this a few more times. By the way, I know this happens a lot. And let's say you were working on this and you took a break, but then you came back and completely forgot which side you finished with last. Well, the best way is to take a close look at it and find the string that looks like it's coming out of a knot. That's the string that you need to go under the base and then over the string. So go ahead and keep knotting until you get to your wrist measurement minus one inch. Pull both sides really tight and cut off both sides with a pair of scissors. Now be 100% sure not to cut your base string. Now use some glue to apply to the raw edges of where you have made the cut. I find that super glue works best for this because it dries quickly and it's extremely sturdy. Go ahead and unclip the top part, tighten both sides, cut and glue just like you did before with the bottom. Technically you are done here and you could just tie this around your wrist, but I like to finish it off in a different way. So I face the two end strings towards each other while they overlap and lay parallel next to each other. I clip the top and the bottom to stabilize it, and this will be your new base strand. Then I place one clip at the top of my clipboard so I have a good working area. Next, I cut out a piece of string about 13 inches long and I fold it in half. I place the midpoint right on top of the bracelet. Just like before, I pick a starting point. So I'm going to start on the right side again. I take the right piece, I place it under the base strand and then over the left. Now I take the left strand going over the base and then into the loop. Looks a little bit familiar, right? So continue knotting all the way down until you get to about an inch. Same thing, you're gonna trim and then you're gonna glue. So now you can place a bead at the end of the two dangly strands, but I just like to knot it for now. The reason why I like this finish a little bit better is because the dangly parts can be really cute if you add a charm to it or a bead or something. And it's easier to get in and out of as well. So try to practice, practice, practice because I have a few more complicated bracelets I want to show you guys that use the same knotting technique. I was afraid it would be too confusing, so I just had to upload this one first. So I hope you guys do end up trying this out. Let me know down below which bracelet you want to see next. Have fun you guys. Try to stack them up and rock on fashionistas. Bye!